Question 1. Listen to the interview with Lucy Baker and choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Good evening and welcome to the show. Tonight we have Lucy Baker, who has written a book, Family Matters. Lucy, can you tell us what the book is about? Sure. It's all about me and my family. I'm not part of the normal nuclear family, you know, a family of two parents and their children. No, I'm from an extended family. There are grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, mom and dad, brothers and sisters. We're all in the same huge house. And my book is about everything that happens when all these people live together. It's about the laughter, the tears, the family celebrations, and even the noisy arguments. So what's it like in your house? I love it. There is always someone at home, so I always have company. In my opinion, that's really important, especially for the younger generation. I talk to my grandparents all the time. They've lived long lives and they've got so much experience that they can pass on to my generation. They tell me what to do in difficult situations, and so far, they've never been wrong. What else do you like about your family? Well, because there is so many of us, I don't have to do everything myself. There are lots of chores to do, and everyone joins in, so there is lots of cooperation. Of course, it's not all work. I think it's great when we are all together for family occasions, when no one has to go anywhere or do anything. We just enjoy the precious time with each other. What's the worst thing about being a member of an extended family? Well, for me, the main problem is getting some peace and quiet. There is someone in every room. TVs are on. Phones are ringing and music is playing all the time. That means I often have to go to the local library to study. I shouldn't really complain though, because sometimes I need to talk to someone and luckily in my house there is always someone to listen. How does your family feel about the book? It's not easy writing a book about your close relationships I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I did want to be honest about everyone. I don't know whether I've been a hundred percent successful, but so far, I've had no complaints. Thank you, Lucy, for being with us. Listen again and check your answers. Good evening and welcome to the show. Tonight we have Lucy Baker who has written a book, Family Matters. Lucy, can you tell us what the book is about? Sure. It's all about me and my family. I'm not part of the normal nuclear family, you know, a family of two parents and their children. No, I'm from an extended family. There are grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, mom and dad, brothers and sisters, we're all in the same huge house, and my book is about everything that happens when all these people live together. It's about the laughter, the tears, the family celebrations, and even the noisy arguments. So what's it like in your house? I love it. There is always someone at home, so I always have company. In my opinion, that's really important especially for the younger generation. I talk to my grandparents all the time. They've lived long lives and they've got so much experience that they can pass on to my generation. They tell me what to do in difficult situations and so far, they've never been wrong. What else do you like about your family? Well, because there is so many of us, I don't have to do everything myself. There are lots of chores to do and everyone joins in, so there is lots of cooperation. Of course, it's not all work. I think it's great when we are all together 
for family occasions, when no one has to go anywhere or do anything. We just enjoy the precious time with each other. What's the worst thing about being a member of an extended family? Well, for me, the main problem is getting some peace and quiet. There is someone in every room. TVs are on, phones are ringing, and music is playing all the time. That means I often have to go to the local library to study. I shouldn't really complain, though, because sometimes I need to talk to someone. And luckily, in my house, there is always someone to listen. How does your family feel about the book? It's not easy writing a book about your close relationships. I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I did want to be honest about everyone. I don't know whether I've been a hundred percent successful, but so far, I've had no complaints. Thank you, Lucy, for being with us. Question 2. You will hear four people talking about experiences they had in extreme weather. Listen and match the speakers 1 to 4 with what they say. You may use a letter more than once. There is one extra statement that you do not need. Speaker 1. I had checked the weather on TV that morning and the forecast was for a bright sunny day. So Jack and I packed a picnic and set off up Tree Toops Hill for a lovely relaxing day out. Just as we had started eating our sandwiches, however, there was a loud clap of thunder and it started to pour with rain. We hurried down the hill, but by the time we had got on the bus, we were soaking wet and shivering with cold. That's the last time I'll go out without a raincoat, whatever the weather forecast says. Speaker 2 When we were organizing my sister's graduation dinner, I was a little bit worried. We had decided to have an outdoor barbecue, you see, and I knew it would be a disaster if it rained. Well, on the day everything was perfect. It was a beautiful warm day and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. My sister loved it and everyone had a wonderful time. Speaker 3 They had been forecasting the snow all week and it had been snowing all night. So it was no surprise when I found out that all flights out of the city had been cancelled. There was nothing I could do about it, so I just decided to enjoy a few extra days holiday at my parents' house. I rebooked my flight and flew when the airport had reopened. Speaker 4 We could hear the wind howling outside all night long, but nothing prepared us for what we saw in the morning. Two trees had blown over in the garden and crashed into the garden's shed. The shed was totally destroyed. It took us ages to tidy up the mess. Listen again and check your answers. Speaker 1 I had checked the weather on TV that morning and the forecast was for a bright sunny day. So Jack and I packed a picnic and set off up Tree Toops Hill for a lovely relaxing day out. Just as we had started eating our sandwiches, however, there was a loud clap of thunder and it started to pour with rain. We hurried down the hill, but by the time we had got on the bus, we were soaking wet and shivering with cold. That's the last time I'll go out without a raincoat, whatever the weather forecast says. 
Speaker 2 When we were organizing my sister's graduation dinner, I was a little bit worried. We had decided to have an outdoor barbecue, you see, and I knew it would be a disaster if it rained. Well, on the day everything was perfect. It was a beautiful, warm day, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. My sister loved it, and everyone had a wonderful time. Speaker 3 They had been forecasting the snow all week, and it had been snowing all night. So, it was no surprise when I found out that all flights out of the city had been cancelled. There was nothing I could do about it, so I just decided to enjoy a few extra days holiday at my parents' house. I rebooked my flight and flew when the airport had reopened. Speaker 4 We could hear the wind howling outside all night long, but nothing prepared us for what we saw in the morning. Two trees had blown over in the garden and crashed into the garden shed. The shed was totally destroyed. It took us ages to tidy up the mess. End of listening exam.